Hey, okay, I'm filming this part after I've already filmed part of the <laughs> part of the other. I was gonna go out and uh, talk to you a little bit on the front porch this morning, and then I got busy. I don't even know what I got busy doing. Um, I think I filmed that other stuff right quick before David come home. That's I think that's what I was doing. That's pretty bad when being an hour ago and you can't <laughs> you can't remember. So I thought, well, I'll just come out here and talk to you now. I just got back from getting my stuff at Walmart and um that little boy he said he was he was back there they just gone put it in your trunk for you. And uh he said, We appreciate you not getting a lot today, not having a big order. I said, Oh, are you having some big ones? He said, Yes ma'am He said, This lady over here he does like this. He goes, This lady over here He said, Whoo This is a big one <laughs> I said, Really? In that little car? He said, Yes <laughs> so uh, they were still in there gathering it up she was there before me they come out made sure who she was she's still sitting there waiting on them to gather up her order and they brought mine out so there ain't no telling what all she bought and i hope she she got a little car like i used to drive a um 91 ford escort oh my gosh when he bought me this car about three years ago i think I had driven that one for now how many ever years it was my one mama's and I got it after she passed the one I had before that was my other mama's and I got it after she passed the escort was tiny and it was nothing automatic roll down windows the um manual seat belt except for it did have the one that well over here it would come across you know automatically but you had to do the um belly part lap part and um so i know what a little vehicle is listen i <laughs> okay so one day i am going to see i know i know i have it on my facebook and i'm going to insert it hold on let me pause no, let me tell you about it. Then I'm going to insert it because <laughs> I, I entitled this Southern Ingenuity. So back when we were doing the house, I had to go to the laundromat because obviously we only had the big room and that's where we all lived. All four of us because both kids were still home at the time. Now, RJ had moved away, but he moved back. He, he moved when he was 18, he, he went straight out of the house to California. And then he moved from California to Kentucky. And then he came from Kentucky back home. So he was back home. And obviously Holly was still home because she was still in, in school. Well, I had to go to the laundromat. So I'm <laughs> over at the laundromat one day. And it's in the middle of summer. Scorching hot outside. Coming down the road. And I see something in front of me. And I'm looking at can't quite make it out right i got up close and luckily i had my phone like in the little console thingy handy where i could grab it and snap that picture before i <laughs> before i got away from them and i i basically followed them so i could get it when they were going a different i went on around this little car what made me think of it was being a little car it was now, I don't know. We'll look at the picture and determine what it is. I can't remember right off the bat. It's just a small car. And on the back of it... Now, I hadn't seen this picture in years. It was either a refrigerator or a freezer. Here's the car. Here's the appliance <laughs> strapped into that little trunk. <laughs> and going down the road. <laughs> That's what I said. Southern Ingenuity. Listen, when you got to get it done, you do what you got to do. That That is how I was raised. You just do what you got to do. So, what I'm showing you today, well, you know what? It's not really do what you got to do. It's more um, some home remedies or 
health and beauty type things just some things that I do around here that I've done you know over the years and um, I thought well if I don't have any food to cook I'll show you some other stuff <laughs> just some um, little things that are easy to do some some home products nothing fancy nothing nothing super special to buy some coconut oil that's not fancy everybody's got that now used to be um like i would buy it from vitacost it's a online place that david gets his um, tart cherry peels from if you let me tell you this part and, and i ain't no doctor and i ain't trying to be one so take this with a grain of salt do your own research i researched it uh woman where I used to know she told me her doctor she she gets the gout which I've only really heard of um, males getting it but she got the gout and if you ever had the gout you know it is one of the most painfulest things you can get that and shingles you, you when he has a flare up you can't even like blow on it he, he'll just about pass out well since knock on wood i don't want him to suffer with it since we started giving him these tart cherry pills he has not had one single solitary flare-up and that is the truth now he takes my belly is growling i have not eaten my breakfast yet it's 9 30. y'all know i usually have done eat by now it's just a growling i don't know if y'all can hear that but he takes um, prescription medicine for it he's got two of them and then he takes this and he would still get them even with that medicine so when i found out her doctor told her to eat it was either six or nine cherries a day for the gout so i'm like hmm that's not really practical for us so i got to researching and they make tart cherry pills and that's where i found them so he takes those every day he has for years and he's not had one single flare-up so if you suffer from the gout or you know somebody that does it would be well worth your time to research into that i don't know what it is in the tart cherry but it has definitely worked for him so that's i was just going to show you some little things today um just to me it's Oh, I'm giving them the stank eye. You know who that was? And I'm not going to tell you their name. That was the people who really hoodooed, hoodooed us on our heating and air unit. When we... Now, my mom bought us that back before she died. She sold her house, and bless her heart, she wanted to make sure different ones of us enjoyed what she could give us while she was alive so she could enjoy seeing us have it so we only had windy units and um, space heaters so she bought us the central heat and air well when we tore the house out we ha obviously had to remove that because the house was gutted and when they came to unhook it he paid them to unhook it and went ahead and paid the whole fee for when they come back and reinstalled it he paid the whole thing okay well when it come time to put it back in they were going to charge us now, i'm going to tell you what i went round and round with them people and i can see it i was working up there with my best friend and we were in that office and one of the men called me back. I don't know how many times I talked on the phone. And one of the men called me back. And I got a little bit animated. <laughs> I guess is the way to put it. A little bit animated on the phone. And he was over in the back. And he's just like. Because <laughs> it got kind of. <laughs> okay, she's handling her business. Well, I want you to know. It took forever and a day we got that money back yes we did he got his money back listen this is one thing you need to know about my husband don't mess with his money do not mess, <laughs> do not mess with his money when we bought this car we made the mistake of missing one of the line items on the contract that they detailed the car 
for almost $900. And we got home, and that's when we noticed it. We're like, oh, my God, we missed it. What are we supposed to do? We already signed it. Okay, first of all, the car was not detailed. It might have been vacuumed and wiped off, but it was not detailed. It was not spit shine. There was still stuff on the floor to where, not filthy, but to where you know it was not detailed. And for $900, the outside was not shining, you know, waxed or nothing. Dave was like, you know what I can do for $900 to a car? So, he called. <laughs> and they kept telling him, well, you're not getting your money back. He's like, look, he said, I'm not paying you $900 for something that you didn't do and something that it would not cost that much to do anyway. And I remember walking by, he was sitting in the middle room. And he, he got on the phone. I don't know how many times he talked a couple times to the different ones over there, too. And all I heard him say was, I don't care whose pocket it comes out of, I'm getting my money back. Well, <laughs> he got his money back. <laughs> he got his $900 back. <laughs> so, <laughs> that's one of them things we, we, um, kind of don't like to be messed around with our money because it's too hard to come by. Listen. We, we, we are nice people. We are nice people. But we stand our ground when we have to. So I don't even know how I got on that crazy subject. <laughs> anyway, let me go in the house. I got my, I don't even, I, listen, I have had this stuff in my buggy since Sunday. I don't even remember. That's my cousin again. I don't even remember what I bought. I don't, I honestly don't remember what I got in there other than that candle and that wax thing I was telling you about. So I'm excited to go in there and see what I got. It'd be like a, uh, uh, little mystery bag. <laughs> okay. Coming up is just a little mishmash of this, that, and the other. Hope you enjoy it. Okay. The first thing I want to show you is for crepey skin. And if you're my age or older, you know what it is. Maybe even younger. I've had this a while. A lot of it's right here. Crepey skin because it looks like crepe paper. And it's just something that comes with aging. Okay, so several years back, me and Holly, that's when we were going through our Ulta phase. And I was looking. Um, they had something advertised on TV. I can't remember the name of it. I'm sure you've seen the commercial. And so I was up there looking for it. And the lady who's always there, we knew her, obviously, <laughs> that tells you something, <laughs> she told me, she goes, you don't need any of that, all you have to do is exfoliate and coconut oil, any kind of coconut oil, so with this pandemic going on, I'm out of, well, uh, um, store-bought exfoliator, scrub, you know, bath scrub I'm not going to the store to get it and I'm not going to order it online because I like to smell things before I buy them I, I just unless it's like an emergency product which I can't think of right off the bat I don't want to buy it unless I smell it first because I'm all about the smell <laughs> well what I have been doing is saving my coffee grounds I'm going to show you I'm going to turn you around and show you what I've been doing works beautifully okay hold on let me turn you around okay the first thing we're going to do is come right up here to my refrigerator and this is exactly where i keep it just right here in the door coffee let me see if i can get it out well it's not usually that hard now there's my beautiful garbage okay let's see if i can open this up there's my green tea weigh-ins tomorrow so i'm hedging my bets this is coffee from my k-cups and i add it um when it gets full i just you know i go ahead and throw them away but i let them cool off then i put them in here don't put them in here hot or they'll get a whole lot of condensation but definitely keep them in the refrigerator so they don't mold on you when you take a shower and this is good for your whole body i'm gonna tell you what when you get through with this you feel wonderful. You don't need a fancy, smancy recipe. Take some of this, rub it in your body wash or your soap, and then just go to town. You will feel so smooth and soft. So where you have your crepey skin, 
give it extra attention. Don't overdo it because you don't want to, you know, mess your skin up. Then, you know, this is what I bought back then. It's this Yes to Carrots coconut oil stick. So, I'll do my exfoliating and then take my little... It's just like a, a giant chapstick. I don't know if I can get this off. Oh, I can't get it off. But it, if you can see in there, it's like a, a giant chapstick. But any, she said any coconut oil. So if you have coconut oil for cooking or other things, use that. So that is my tip for crappy skin that saves money and uses something that you were just going to throw away. Now, the next thing I want to show you, hold on is I'm making a fresh batch of dandelion oil. M my yard, and I had the kids, Holly and I call them kids because they are my kids. I don't care if they are adults. <laughs> I had them go out last Friday and gather up all, because we, we don't have like great grass, but we do have a lot of dandelions in it, which Flair is happy because she loves to eat them. That's the one greenery I can get her to eat is dandelion flowers. So I had them go out and gather up all of them. Because all you have to do is take all the stems off, lay them out. I didn't even wash them. Lay them out on a towel. Let them wilt. I just let it go overnight. You just want some of that initial water to come off of it. You don't want to dry them out completely because they'll turn to the, the little blow puffs, you know that you blow out in the yard you don't want to do, you don't want to do that then all you have to do put them in any old jar that you have this is a recycled milk jug that i bought at earth fair last year sometime and we had been two times our first and our last it was too expensive it cost me more to go over there and return this jug than it was just to keep it and <laughs> reuse it so i'm doing that there is no magic amount of flowers to use oh, let me see it's about half and half and we'll let it sit for two weeks some people say you can put it out in the heat in a sunny window i don't have one of those i don't have a sunny window when i made it before i never did i just stuck it in there in the closet where it was dark i didn't even leave it in the sun and it made a beautiful dandelion oil put up this is a little tea bag just something that will let the water evaporate as it sits. And then I use this for salves. It is a wonderful thing for skin rashes and bee stings and bug bites. I will go outside and tell you about how I learned about the dandelion. So, hold on. So, the story behind the dandelions. Several, not several, more than several years ago, we had ordered from our favorite Chinese restaurant here in town called Dragon Walk. Well, we had it delivered. Very rarely do we get it delivered. He just goes to get it. But I think he was tired that weekend. It was something. He just, he was not in the mood to drive across town. <laughs> so we had it delivered. Well, this little guy comes and I had just got stung by a wasp. We used to have, knock on wood, used to, I don't want them back this year, a wasp problem dirt daubers to be more specific you know what a dirt dauber is they build those little mud um nests i guess you call it, i don't tunnel i don't know what you call it <laughs> on the side of your house and everything like that well we used to get those in our house see the big room that we called it the built-in carport we just call it the big room it's um was finished but when we started working on the house david's oh well how, while he's doing demo he's just gonna demo that room so he demoed it and it's still sitting there unfinished to this day has a floor the walls i mean it, it's finished but he took the m mama had paneling up and we were gonna sheetrock it and we just have not done that and he took the ceiling out well it stayed exposed so the day i got stung twice one year and the next year the last time I got stung I marched up to him I said you don't have a choice you either put me something up on that ceiling or it's on <laughs> so he had RJ come over that weekend and they covered the ceiling anyway so I was sitting over in my chair 
and I, at the time, had a, a throw or something on the arm. So it was like camouflage. And when I sat down, I put my arm on the armrest, and that sucker got me. I'm getting chills thinking about it, because those suckers hurt. If you've ever been stung by a dirt dauber, whew, they are fierce. The other one got me over at Flair's Tank. And that was, gosh, that was back when Holly was like maybe 18 years old. And I went, one side I had to make a cover. And the other side has uh, a pre-made cover. It's like, anyway. So the one I went to lift it up and when I did, it was setting up under the lip. And it got me on the finger. And that is when her boyfriend who lived here told me about... Um, putting a cigarette on it and he smoked so I got a cigarette wet it the tobacco and put it on there and it helped it really did well when I got stung right here I mean it had just happened and we got our food and I'm still I mean you reel from that for a <laughs> good little bit so the little guy very broken English very broken he told me he was pointing to the yard and I was trying so hard to understand him because he was trying so hard to tell me he was pointing he was doing this he was like taking it doing this and he, he got the word yellow out and so we got around to it to where he was talking about the dandelions and somebody that he knew and I got that he was from Korea I got that and somebody he knew had splashed hot oil on and he took the dandelion and did the dandelion and it helped so I got all that from him well I got me some dandelion actually I didn't he went out there and brought me some dandelions he went in my yard and brought me some dandelions bless his heart and so I rubbed the dandelions on it and oh my gosh if you get a, a sting go get you a dandelion and rub that dandelion on it it will soothe it well that's when I started researching about the healing properties of dandelions and turns out they're wonderful for skin rashes bug bites all the things that can go on with your skin so I made a, a nice batch of dandelion oil and use it for different salves um, ointments just straight up rubbing on so that I needed a fresh batch and that's what I was saying. I had Holly and Kyle come out here. I said, you go to every inch of this yard. <laughs> and they got every one that they could find. You just, like I said, clean the stems off. Lay them out. Let them wilt overnight. And put them in there. And that is just olive oil. Plain olive oil. No, no fancy, extra virgin, expensive. Nothing like that. Just, just plain old, everyday olive oil. Let it sit for a couple weeks. Strain it. There you have your dandelion oil. So there's something for you to do when you're sitting around and on the porch and you're looking out and you see all the dandelions in the yard. Just go on out there and make you some dandelion oil. <laughs> so that is the story about how I learned about those. So I don't know if I got anything else to show you or not after this. I'm fixing to go get my Walmart order. I have a, hold on. Every time I talk to y'all, I get the dry lip. Oh, that's what I was going That's what I was going to show you. I do have something else to show you. See? When I talk to y'all, things pop in my head. Now, let me try to remember when I get home. But I got a little midweek order. Just some things that I wanted myself. We'll still get our groceries on Friday. I did get my time for Friday. I got this day. I got this on Sunday. So, I was able to get it for today on Sunday. Just some odds and ends that I um, needed or wanted listen we can't get out and go shopping so if you need anything that ain't groceries Walmart's the place to do it I've never done Target pickup but Walmart's you can buy all kind of stuff other than just groceries you can buy all kinds of stuff I mean you, I get my furnace filters through my grocery pickup you can get dishes you, I mean you name it you can get it so if you have never searched for non-food items do that because listen get you a shopping fix <laughs> I, I need a little retail therapy if I can't go to the store you know I miss Wanda's oh I miss Wanda's she closed up a while back she just went ahead before they even made us close up she just closed on up 
Um, and so whenever this is open back up, I will be down giving her my business. You better know I will. I will be giving Miss Wanda some business. I don't even know if, if I need it. I'm going to still buy some stuff because here she's been out of um, closed down for a month. So I'll, I'll give her my business for sure. But anyway, let's see. It's maybe about time for my order to be ready. Let me check. I did get the where they send you earlier before they get it ready they send you if you have substitutions or things out of stock and as soon as you see it you're just like oh my gosh what is it this week can you believe they only had two things that were they were out of one was a candle and they substituted a different scent and it's coconut so i told you a while ago i don't like to buy things without smelling it but i'm gonna cross my fingers that if it's coconut it'll smell good i like those kind of scents and they were out of my favorite wax melt, which is like lemon sugar cookie or something. Joan found it at her Walmart, so she's going to see if she can get it. But they've been out for at least a month. So I don't know if they're just not stocking those little wax melts or what. But that's like my favorite, favorite scent. And I told her, I said, I'm just not buying any other one out of stubbornness. <laughs> so those are the only two things they didn't have. Everything else they had. So I was excited about that. All right, well, I'll come back and show you the um, other thing that I was going to show you. Okay, what we're going to make now is my boo-boo cream. I'm not going to show you which particular essential oils I use because I'm not a medical professional. And if anyone has a reaction or anything like that, I'm not going to be responsible for giving out that information. I just know what works for our family. And it heals. It has properties that my husband, several years back, partially denuded his ring finger. He got it caught on the little thing above the truck door. And when he, he it grabbed his ring and it went down and it partially denuded that whole finger. Oh my gosh, it was terrible. We sat at the table... I had to get his ring off before it swelled on there. We sat there, and he let me pull that ring. It took, I don't know how long, over that skin that was flapping. It was terrible, and he just sat through it. He was a trooper. Oh, my gosh, how he did it, I don't know. I'd have been passed out. Anyway, he took, this is what I keep it in. <laughs> I'm going to upgrade because I had something else in this RJ had made me and so I saved the jar so now that I'm ready for a new batch I'm going to upgrade so he put this on there when it was healing he has no scar on that finger whatsoever I could bring him in here and put it in front of this camera no scar I just keep this on there because this little lid you can see I, it's about wore off boo boo cream and we're down to that much. So I'm going to melt it in here since that's already the same thing I'm making. And then transfer it to this. So I'm just using coconut oil. I just got this in my order because I couldn't find my other um, big container. Which apparently I used it all. I must have put the rest because that's what this is. Um, organic coconut oil. I use this to scramble my eggs. So apparently I used it all and didn't realize it. So... Um, ounces. I'm going to take three. I'm going to do something harder than that. Three ounces. Hold on, that's not working. Okay, let's, let's get at this a little bit better. If this is too much now I researched if this is too much we'll um, leave part in here and part in the other jar yeah I'm gonna have to put this in something bigger let me pause you just a second okay I'm sorry about that apparently it's been so long 
since I made it, I must have made it in something bigger and condensed it down to this. So I have all kind of things in my potion. <laughs> I, I call these my potions. I have a potion book. I have all my potion supplies. So I use this for just this kind of thing. So let's scoop that three ounces in here. And see, you have to be precise because that's what I was saying earlier. I researched the oils that I wanted and the ones that would do what I wanted them to do. And I researched the strength, the ratio of, this would be a carrier oil, the ratio of that I want for what strength I want. And so you don't just, if you want it to work, you don't just start throwing stuff in and melting it. There is an actual science to it. Well, that brought it right back, didn't it? I'm like 2.95. There's my science. 2.95. I think that is close enough. Now I'm just going to stick this in the microwave and be right back. Okay, I let that go one minute. It is completely melted. Now, uh, when I used that same spoon to take out the existing boo boo cream, I skipped that right off the top where I touched it so it wouldn't be um, having any of. Uh, that in the actual coconut oil so I did I did handle that I shouldn't have scooped that spoon in there but it had already happened by the time I caught myself now I'm just going to put so many drops I will tell you I'm using 12 of each now I will not reuse the Okay, this one has a dropper, so carefully. Now we have these smells wonderful. You stir that around. Try to carefully. I think it will all fit in here. Perfect. Perfect three ounces. I'm going to close this up, refrigerate it so it can um, harden up quickly, and come back and show you. This next little thing I want to show you, while I got the coconut oil out, I've already showed you the body scrub with the coffee. I'm going to show you the lip scrub with sugar. You don't need much, and don't make this ahead of time because that sugar will dissolve in the moisture of the coconut oil. You can use Vaseline. You don't need much. Whatever will be enough just to rub on your lips. But you can use Vaseline. You could even use chapstick if you wanted to. Lip gloss, not like the roll-on kind, but like some of those petroleum type um in the little tube you can use that you can buy these sugar scrubs because I have them in there in my drawer and they do whatever they put on them um, theirs tends to dry out where this I'm not gonna save it so some of you are still in winter the rest of us were coming out of winter. We have those bad winter lips. We want some nice, smooth, what I call lipstick wearing lips. My lips have sunk into my face. I lost my lips. I used to have beautiful, but I lipstick wearing lips. I could wear some lipstick, y'all. I can't now. So this is you can't grit it, see it, but it's it's gritty. Just rub this on your lips. Little wet cloth. 
Now, you might have saved that a couple days. Save it in the fridge. You'll know when it's um, not working because it won't be gritty. So, stick it in a little bitty, if you have a little bitty container. Or in a little baggie. All right. Oh, I wish I... Mm, I wish I could feel my lips. They are so smooth and soft like a little baby's behind. So there you have it. There's how to treat your lips at home. You don't need that fancy stuff from Lush. Even though it is nice and it smells good and it's fun to buy. A uh, free amount of <laughs> sugar and a free amount of coconut oil. There's no way that costs you any money. That little bit right there. Alright, so I think that might be all my little home tips for today. Okay, when she comes down here, she's ready to eat. That's the only time that she'll eat is when she comes down here. That's she's telling me. So let me warn you up front. If you don't like bugs, namely roaches, just go on and skip ahead. <laughs> okay, I'm going to try to. Look, what do you see? Look. Y'all can't hear from here, but I love to hear her smacking. Let me see if I can change. <laughs> well, she she gets into her food. Okay, let me get you some more. And this is what they come in. This little thing with the egg carton. Because they cling to it. And I don't pick them up because I don't like the way they cling to your skin. Because their little feet have like little suckers or sticky things. Whatever it is that makes them cling to stuff. This is slick. They cannot get out. But they give them this to um, nest congregate in. So I just try to snag them best I can. They're very um, hard to get a hold of. I need some longer tweezers. You see, <laughs> you see what a dragon mom does when she won't. What a dragon mom will do. Now, if there's one of these running around in my house, I'm going to pass out. And then I'm going to start sterilizing everything that is in my house. But, this is different. This is just food. Okay. Let's go over and see if she wants any more. Want some more? I can't tell if this is blurry. Now, do you, did you see that? She does not see very well. So, she does that a lot. She will lick at a blank spot. And she thinks she's getting the bug, the worm, whatever. But she's licking at an uh, empty spot. 
I feel really bad. And you know, I, I keep calling her eight years old, but she's really nine years old. It dawned on me the other day. I'm like, why do you keep saying eight? Baby girl is nine years old. Okay, let me get off here and help her eat the rest of these. Okay, now I'm going to give her some water. And this is how she drinks her water. It's a good honey. They're not good at seeing water that doesn't move. I've never been able to train her to drink out of the dish. Some people can. I have never been able to get her to do it. Sometimes in the past she would drink in the bathtub. But this is the only way I can get her to drink water, is licking it through this syringe. Okay, y'all get the picture. I could just look at her all day. <laughs> Let me see. I can show you how big he is. See how big he is, according to my hand? <laughs> I can't tell if he's my biggest one or my other one. He's only got two left, and they're both big like this. One's a little bit bigger than the other. They were both down under the sand and I cleaned it out yesterday and dug them both up. I had a, a little one that's been down for a long time, and he was dead. So I lost one yesterday, and these are my last two. But you see him sitting there scraping on that um, piece of wood. That's what they do. I'm going to show you this right here. See all the bark? They just uh, sit around and just scrape. And that... You cannot tell, but where that little ledge right there is, that's where the other one went straight. Let's see. You can see, see that little hole going down in there? That's where he went back down yesterday. As soon as I got everything put back together, he immediately started digging right back down. <laughs> so there's their little pellet food. They have a fresh water and a salt water. And there's the only two shells that they can even remotely change into. I feel bad, but it's the biggest ones I have. And they like to change shells frequently, except the ones they're in now, they've been in for a very, very long time. And then that is their eggshells. They love eggshells. And you know I always have plenty of those. I keep them crushed up in the freezer. So I was wanting them to come out so you could see his eye stalks. I'm trying to get up under my lid. Come out. Come out. See that big painter? Come out. Show us your eyes. Don't fall. There they are. See them? See his eye stalks? Those are the cutest things ever. Okay, I made him mad. He's going away. Are you coming back, buddy? I told David, these things will probably last another hundred years. <laughs> Hermit crabs last forever. I'm not going to take any more on. I've taken on many, many over the years from my vet. People that want to rehome them. That I'm the only person they know that keeps hermit crabs mm -hmm. so they rehome them with me but i'm not gonna take any more because I, I just need to finish up where i'm at not to sound mean but 
you know what I mean. Getting on up in my days. So, all right. Say bye-bye.